Welcome to my pitch. I'm going to be doing a documentary on the Russian composer Tchaikovsky. It's called Pyotr, which is Russian for Peter, which was his name. Um, for you, some of you who won't know, you will recognise his music and ballets that he wrote. So he did the music for the Nutcracker and Swan Lake back in the time. Um, it was nice actually because he was actually alive to see productions and things like that. But over the years, his music and performances have been adapted and moved on. So this is a 4th of July celebration in America. Every year they do the celebration and they use his piece of music, 1812 Overture, um, which you'll know, it's just you're not relating it to this. Um, Matthew Born Swan Lake, I went to see it a couple of weeks ago. It's a new version, uh, sort of like a gay adaptation where all the characters are met, which is really interesting because Tchaikovsky himself was gay, but because it was the 18th century, he couldn't be out, you know, he had to marry a woman to keep his status as a, a famous conductor and composer. Um, what I'll show you now is my main influence, the film Music Lovers. I did my Unit 12 study, Ken Russell, the author. Um, this film explores the relationship that Tchaikovsky had with his wife because she was a nymphomaniac and that's pretty difficult if you're gay, you can't really fall in love with a woman. Um, Here's just a scene analysis I did of some of the images that are used in a dream sequence. So r near the end, um, Russell, Russell shows the um, time passing as he starts to conduct his own music. And it's really uh, dreamlike and, and a bit weird, and he always has one in his, each of his films. He has a dream sequence. It's kind of him showing off his psychedelic um, filmmaking. But it's, a, it's an influence for me because the story explores Tchaikovsky as a person. For my documentary, I don't want to do the relationship because he did that, but I'm going to just do Tchaikovsky and obviously this will be part of it. So James recommended to me to start with um, the opening of Henry V, the, um, it's like a kind of short film, biopic type of thing from the 80s uh, by Kenneth Branagh. And this actor, I can't remember his name, James told me yesterday, um, but he walks into the room and he's talking about what you're going to see in the play and um, a little bit about the story of Henry V. And I want to recreate that, so if I can actually get this to work. I did do a little... How do I do this, ladies? Yeah, so click on the link. Oh, that's good. There you go. Oh, it works. Mm. Hello, and welcome to our story of Tchaikovsky and his wife. Here I will introduce our characters and the actors that will be playing them. So, this is the first one, I did two. I'm going to talk about this. I now present to you Tchaikovsky. See, I've tried to recreate the um, the idea of a character walking in and talking about it. It's very, very primitive and early. It's just me experimenting with this style of entries. Um, but I've got the two options of walking in and talking a little bit about it, or just like that, Tchaikovsky, here you go. Um, I haven't done it yet, because obviously I'm going to test shot it and experiment with it. But what I want to do is um, film it at my friend Rod's house. He's going to be my Tchaikovsky. Because James said to me it'd be a good idea to have a visual reference for the audience so they know kind of like that's their Tchaikovsky. So the shot idea is that me walking in his front door going Tchaikovsky and then Rod's going to be in there conducting the way to 1812. So it's a, an introduction to the character. Uh, narrative wise. I'm going to start with a little overview, so me as the narrator in the style of uh, Blood Brothers. So I'm going to be narrating the story, so I'll just talk about Tchaikovsky a little bit, and about his music like I've done now. Um, I'm then going to have two interviewees, so as you can see I'm going to have them after a bit of talking and a bit of uh, cutaways, so like Rod doing the conducting and him walking around as Tchaikovsky. Um, 
I know George is going to do a little bit of ballet for me as from um, ballet. So you've got some visual references as to what's going on. So they'll be my little creative bit into the story because there's going to be cutaways to um, music levels of film. But I want it to be quite heavy on my footage instead of that. It's just going to be a reference as Ken Russell's work. But yeah, as you can see there, I'm going to go for your approved topics. Um, as it builds up, I'm going to be revealing more and more about him. So it gives a little bit of rising action there. So you find out a bit more, the story gets a bit darker, and eventually you come to the end and I'll talk about his death. Uh, yeah, I took some images. That's at Rod's house and that's at mine. It's just so that you can see the lighting that I'm going to be using. Um, and, and what kind of what atmosphere it is because I want it to be quite relaxed and, and calm and looking a bit period it's not it's meant to be a modern rendition but it's a bit of a period look that's his that's the location so I'll be walking through the front door introduce it and walk in and there's the shot and then obviously there'll be other shots throughout the whole thing in it and that is the end